Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part three. Let's say this greenhouse place does what you say. And yeah, I get it, it's really dangerous and unpredictable. But suppose somehow it works and we move the island. Does that mean the dudes with guns move too? Yes, I suppose they would. Well, isn't that, you know, a problem? I'm working on it. Well, what about me? I still want to get off it. I'm afraid it's a little late for that, Hugo. Mm. You might want to get down lower to the ground. Why might we want to do that? Because we're at the orchid. How is it that all of a sudden they just found in all these places where they didn't even... What are we waiting for? We're waiting, John, because Charles Widmore, the man who's trying to capture me and kill all the rest of you, knows about this place and knows that what we need is inside. I thought you said you had no idea why he was trying to find the island. I wasn't being entirely truthful. Well, you lied when you from the very beginning. Truthful. You need to see this. What am I looking for? Look over there on the left-hand side. Watch the plants at the back. I don't see any... Yeah, to go after Jack. Yeah. We're headed for the chopper. You okay? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Hey, Tell Hendrix to try it. Michael! Yeah, they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you should be walking. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, you take us to the island? No. Nope. But make sure you, you stay in the bearing of 305. It's going to be exactly 305. We've got some kind of RF interference with the pedometer. I can't see the reef, mate. What if interference? How is that possible? The radio room's down. I don't know. But something on this boat is broadcasting. If we don't turn it off, I'm not going any closer than five miles off the coast. And I'll find it. Got yourself shaven. Julia took out my appendix a couple of days ago. Kidding me. <laughs> nope. Well, what else did I miss? See if you can find something different out of these things. You heard me, man. Well, all right, could get your boys a nice cold glass of lemonade while I'm back there. <laughs> Where Desmond and Saeed. Your buddies were smart enough to keep their asses on the boat because right now it's the safest place to be. Because when the boys that I brought over here come stomping out of this jungle, you're gonna want to be long gone. Where'd they go? They're up by some greenhouse, perched up there waiting to snatch lines. So once we cut you free, you put the flies out of here? Hell yeah. Hang on, Shaggy. You said the hit squad's gonna grab Ben Linus. Well, I don't see what's gonna stop him. What are they gonna do with the people that are with him? Nothing good. Here goes some Ben. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not right. him. <laughs> About ten months ago, I wrote what I wanted to say at my father's funeral on the back of a cocktail napkin at the Sydney airport. I don't remember what I wrote, but whatever it was, he would have hated it. <laughs> my father couldn't stand eulogies. Goodbye, Dad. I loved you. I miss you. See you back at the house? Yeah. I love you, sweetheart. I love you, Mom. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. 
How did you know my father? I believe I'm the reason. He was in Australia when he died. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Why would he have come to see you? Oh, he... He didn't come to see me. I was still in the hospital. I never saw him. He came to see his daughter. My daughter, Mr. Shepherd. This is how he found him. My father didn't have a daughter. Yes. He did. If you don't believe me, check his phone records. Would you like to know the strangest thing about all this, Mr. Shepherd? My daughter was on your plane too. She was on flight 815. You were in the air for six hours. Probably just a few rows from her. And you never even knew she was your sister. She was one of the ones who died when your plane hit the water. Her name was Claire. I didn't mean to burden you with this, but you needed to know. Dang. Wow. Sorry for your loss. Your son is beautiful. Thank you. Get back to New York. Oh, Walt and I, uh, uh, we took Ben's boat and we followed his bearing. A couple of days we came to an island, you know, the people. I uh, sold the boat, we got the cargo ferry back to the States to tell anybody who we were. And now you're working for Ben? Uh, yes. I do yes. not work for Ben. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make up for what I did. I'm trying to help you out here. Translate what I said. I understand. <laughs> hey, Michael, I need you now. Oh my God. Now you did it, boy. We ask you to do. Now. So turn around. Whoever you are, come out now. All right. All right. Let's just relax. <laughs> Richard. Mm -hmm. Let's, 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 let's relax. Stop. Stop. Elijah, put the guns down. I said stop right there! Please just drop your guns. Take one more step. Zaid ain't playing with you. You okay? So drop He's the guns. There. I see two of them. But not the one who killed Alex. He's there. Hold on to that for me, will you? Oh. Because he's Billy Listen Bad. Listen to me very carefully, John, because I'm not going to have time to repeat this. You're going to go into that greenhouse through that hole there. Once inside, you're going to turn left. Go about 20 paces until you see a patch of anthuriums on your left. They're in an alcove against the north wall. Face that wall, reach down with your left hand. You'll find a switch that activates the elevator. The elevator takes you down to the actual orchid station. Whoa, wait, what? Okay. I'm sorry, Ben, but maybe I missed the part where you explain what I'm supposed to do about the armed men inside. I got that. I'm going to take care of them. And how the hell are you going to do that? How many times do I have to tell you, John? I always have a plan. No, I'm afraid. Remember, we forgot about that. Because he was always sort of like... Ugh. Hungry. 
Okay, this episode, uh, it had a lot of things in it. My brain is warped. I can't really remember things like I want to on this episode. Um, is this the episode where they showed us that they act the, the Oceanic Six that they got off? They had the press conference. That was in this episode, right? Yeah. I guess. Okay. <laughs> it was so much. Um. Yes, yeah, it's this is this episode. Okay. It's the last episode was John Locke. Okay. Okay. Um, well, the first thing that comes to my mind, it's out of order, but uh, Jack finding out that Claire was his sister, the way he found out was like, whoa, I got chills. This whole series is out of order, so it don't really matter how you explain <laughs> it at this point. Uh, that was a big whoa. Well, for us, it was like about time. Right. But, right, but, but to do it in this manner, because we don't know what's going on with Claire. Mm -hmm. Because from the last episode, she was chilling. Mm-hmm. In Jacob's house. Mm hmm With a band-aid on her forehead. With her dad. With her daddy. <laughs> Dead daddy. Right. Um so she uh Claire's mama told Jack all about uh Jack's dad and how he's Claire's mom. And when he when when she told him his reaction was it was everything that it should have been. It was and he was taken back. Yeah, he, he did a great job with that. Um, and here's the thing I thought Claire's mom was dead yeah right me too hmm. what in the world anyway I thought, her, I, thought, I thought she died in the hospital right. so she got to see her grandson and didn't even know it but I think she did know I have a feeling that she knew she was just like you have a beautiful son mm. I mean I'm just saying mm -hmm. ain't no be like looking at the baby, be like, now you look familiar. Yeah, you look just like my daughter as when she was a baby. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But she didn't know that she was pregnant. She was in coma. When she came in, yeah, she, she was told unconscious. Her she, yep. she was pregnant mm -hmm. when she came in and she was looking at the birds on the video mm -hmm. and that's how she knew about uh putting a message on the birds. She said, I used to watch it all the time with my mom. Well, we didn't know that her mom was unconscious. Okay, keep going. This is um, crazy. This is 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 crazy. Oh. Oh. So much. <laughs> Y'all are laughing at us. I know it. Are you laughing? <laughs> I feel it. You feel the laughter? I feel it. Um. Oh my God. Uh. What? It was. Fr it's freaking C4 on the boat. Like what? <laughs> yeah, you jumping around. Like I told you, my brain is fried. I'm, but it's okay. <laughs> So with, with Jack's <laughs> appendix, okay, Jack's appendix uh, was taken out. Julia did that. I'm not too sure if it was in this one or the last one. But he was able to get up. Well, now I'm saying he's able to get up. But he got up anyway because he needed, he was like, listen, my job was to get these people safely off this island. And that's what I'm going to do. So he starts off in the, in the jungle because he's looking for, oh, after uh, the pilot drops the walkie-talkie from the, the helicopter they now have this uh walkie talkie that's showing where the chopper was well the 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 pilot's plan was for them to find the walkie talkie to find him when they found him he was handcuffed now i don't know because everybody who get handcuffed in this thing handcuffs themselves and it's a plot <laughs> so i don't know if he should be trusted even though he pulled michael out talking about Dude, if I knew you was part of the Oceanic 6 or part of the Flight 815, maybe I would have been trying to get you off of here a little bit earlier, sooner. But he knew that the guys were going to kill everybody off the island. They killed the captain. This Beanie, what's his name? Zeke, what's his name? Not Zeke. Uh... Kim K, K or King something? Kiko, Kiko, King, Kian <laughs> K. K and K, <sighs> K and W, cafeteria. <laughs> he, <laughs> uh, yeah. So he was like, "Yeah, we're gonna, whatever, whatever, shoot all these people." I don't, they didn't say it verbally. I'm just saying, he knew their plans. It wasn't gonna be good. So the captain was convinced Desmond and Saeed to get on the boat and to get the people. I don't know if he convinced them to get the people and bring them back. 
But Saeed's plan and Desmond's plan was like just to go ahead and get the people and bring them back. Um, Saeed went, Desmond stayed on the boat. So Desmond was able to witness the shooting of the captain that K&W did. Because I don't know his name. Kinko. Kionko. He said his whole name, Michael, when he was like, do you know who I am? Because they knew his name for some strange reason back on, back on the island. Uh, Locke, Hugo, and Mr. Weasel walking through the island trying to find the cabin. We found that. They found the cabin. Now they're trying to go to the orchid. They get to the orchid. They realize that these men are already there. These men are from the um from the boat that all, all of a sudden have went bananas for some strange reason. And they're just shooting up everybody they come across. Um, yeah. I'm just... There's no putting together anything Nothing. at this point because we're just here to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't come up with any hypothesis or any summarization or any conclusion. There is no conclusion until we try to figure out, until we see more. And we got to keep watching. And I'm hungry. Uh, Kate and Saeed got captured by Richard and the hostiles. <laughs> or the others. <laughs> I just want to know why they have to put a, the brown leather on to walk through the island. Richard and I is know the ageless it's... wonder. Y'all call him Guy Liner, but from now on, he's the ageless wonder. Yeah, because he was there looking the same way <laughs> as he does now when John Locke was born. In 1928. So Then when he visited... 1928. <laughs> and then when, he, <laughs> then when he visited John, he looked the same when John was maybe seven or eight years old. He was in a foster care, I mean a foster home. Talking about he wasn't ready. Well, he grabbed the knife. And I believe the knife was his. I told you it was. He grabbed the knife. He grabbed the sand. I think that was the sand from the beach. He said, grab everything that belongs to you already. So he was grabbing that. I know that's probably not even in this episode. No, but I'm just... One, but... Another thing. Son. Bad Mamma Jamma. Don't underestimate this chick. When she walked in, she was pregnant. She walked in. Oh, yeah. And her father was discussing with the other two gentlemen that was in the office that they had money dispersed in five different accounts. And they were trying to figure out where did it go? What was going on? Well, then we find out that it was son all along that said, I had interest in your account because Oceanic 6 were paid off mm -hmm. after the crash. So maybe... They left the other people so they could split the money. I don't know. I'm just saying. Oceanic Six, we found out who the six were. Mm -hmm. So it was Kate and Aaron. Okay. Jack. Oh. Kate, Aaron, Jack. I forgot to count. Uh, Saeed. Hurley. Hurley. And son. son. So that was the, the six, Oceanic Six. So they had the press conference and where they was just talking and uh, they asked the question in Korean for a son about her husband. How did he die? Did he die on the island? Did he die in the crash or whatever? Well, whatever. She said he never made it to the island. He never got off the plane. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. And the whole time Jack was looking at her like, don't mess it up. Mm -hmm. Stick with the line. So we don't know what's going on. We don't know who's being played. We don't know whose side is on whose side or whatever. Who's side, who's side. Mm -hmm. But when they realized that... Uh, the people were coming on the island to kill them and to kill anybody that was with Ben. Ashtray Bow had a fit because he was like, Dagon and Hugo's with him. Mm -hmm. So Jack was like, with his Dagon bleeding shirt, talking about it's just a uh, discharge. <laughs> no, Joker, you bleeding. Uh, he said it's just separation. Yeah, because the stitches are separating and now it's fighting off the infection. Okay, you got all these doctor terminology. Uh, listen. You gonna die if you keep rock walking through this daggone island with no antibiotics or nothing. But anyway, so it's just it's, it's so, so much, much going on right now. He gonna be in, I always have a plan, John. I always have a plan. Yeah, he was looking in the mirror at the uh, 
Top who, of the mountain. Who up there? Right. Waiting for you. Just been sitting there the whole time. What's going on? And who was plotting? Now, who's planting all these boxes all throughout <laughs> the day? It's a daggone. This is like the ultimate, uh, uh, what you call them? The Easter egg hunt. Scavenger hunt. Easter egg hunt. Oh, yeah. Scavenger hunt is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably what it is. So but anyway, let, let but us that know. was just, do you have anything? Because you always, you, I mean, you don't cut me off, but Sorry. then you always say you want to sum it up. And I'm like, well, don't you have something to say? So let us know what you guys thought of the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Come on here. <laughs>